let's uh, a little bit about sociology. So sociology is a very broad field and uh, it is different than psychology, does have some overlapping aspects. Sociology is uh, a way of studying and researching society and looking at groups and individuals and relationships and institutions and how they interact and influence one another. So um, I often think the quickest way to explain sociology is when someone sort of, if you have the opportunity to step into a, another, another society or another, another place, another community that is really unlike your, the one you're used to. And if you have the chance to do that, so you know, it might be within your own country or maybe it's traveling to another country and you go there and you realize that things are, can be quite different than what you're used to, that the sounds are different, the language is different, the way people interact, the smells, the food, the, the, the way people um, move about and, and uh, the way people talk and the, everything from their, their uh, you know, the music to, to the books and to the knowledge and everything else. And what that does is when you step into that, it seems very strange at first and you're not used to it, but it, it shows you how a society could be really differently arranged. And yet we're all human sharing almost entirely the same DNA and the same human characteristics. And what that sort of difference uh, illustrates is how uh, these, these are not uh, set in stone the way we tend to arrange and organize our societies. They are always subject to change and they are uh, you know, influenced by social social forces, social influences, social organizations and institutions and our relationships. So uh, <clears throat> it's always, you know, if, if possible, I always recommend to my students to, to try to travel uh, if they can. Obviously during COVID and the pandemic, <laughs> that has been quite difficult. But um, that's a little bit about uh, sociology. There's, as I said, there's overlap with, with a lot of other disciplines, uh, certainly anthropology and psychology. And there is um, the field itself is is quite uh, arrayed and varied, so that there are sociologists doing work on uh, economic sociology and education and race and class and the military and gender and families and uh, uh, on and on. So so it is a a, a broad field with a number of subfields, and uh, I have taught classes in introduction to sociology, gender, uh, military, and um, health, and, and uh, several, several others. So um, I consider myself a broadly trained sociologist and uh, really appreciate the, the way the field allows, allows for those kinds of studies and research and investigations of, of society. So um, this is this is a bit of um, what I was speaking to in terms of uh, there's there's <clears throat> a way that uh, sociology has a you know we we often as sociologists in, interrogate research and look at things like you know how certain groups both interact but how there's inequalities or how some groups. Um, uh, manage or access certain resources and some groups are not able to. Now that might sound, you know, kind of um, like that there is a lot of research on, on inequalities. At the same time, there's also a lot of research which, which really highlights the way that <clears throat> we're always capable of change and the fact that there's a uh, infinite possibility with, with groups of people and with societies to, to change the existing sort of conditions and situations. And uh, sociology as a field was sort of born out of the industrial revolution of the, the, the 19th century. And, and it, it came from a number of uh, people really thinking about and trying to make sense of the broad and really pretty drastic changes that were occurring in the 1800s and throughout Europe and, and, and uh, the West that were meaning there was huge shifts in how we worked and where we lived and that there was big changes in technology and the fact that 
now we could travel the great distances and we were, you know, living far more likely to be living in cities and, and doing work in factories and moving away from a more agrarian life. And all these changes meant that there were, came with all these sets of questions about sort of how, what, what is happening really. And, and I would say that that means that sociology is, is uh, continues to be extremely relevant, extremely important for understanding and trying to make sense of the current sets of changes and conditions of our modern world that have to do with technology and immigration and globalization and the economy and uh, challenges and, and um, con concerns regarding inequalities of both you know, gender, race, class, and everything else. So, so that's a bit uh, about sociology and how we common, you know, often look at, look at that.